confident. You look more confident than you feel. Your biggest personal possession is? My car, but it's not that big. Do you work out? Yes. What is your usual workout routine? I have a personal trainer and she mixes it up, so it's usually weights with a cardiac component. What is your secret vice? <laughs> um, late night movies? What is your spirit animal? Pass. <laughs> Are you a dog or cat person? Cat person. Your favorite off-duty activity is? Reading. One trait to look for in a trainee is? Integrity. Besides face-to-face, -face, what is your favorite way to communicate with trainees? Email. Describe your leadership style in five words or less. Fair, supportive, Exacting. One should emergency physicians consume less is? Self-doubt. One should emergency physicians consume more is? Sleep. What is the best way to say no? No. Best way to run a teaching session is? Interactively. Best way to communicate with a patient is? Empathetically. Best way to start a night shift is? with a cup of coffee in your hand. Three words best defining emergency medicine. Adaptability, competence, and sense of adventure. Which patient you do not want to start a shift with? Epistaxis. I just hate epistaxis. Longest hours you are not able to go to a restroom in a shift is? 14 hours. Longest hours you are not able to eat in a shift is? 14 hours. Macintosh or Miller? Mac. Direct laryngoscopy or video laryngoscopy? Direct laryngoscopy. Cunningham or scapular rotation? Cunningham. Canadian C-spine rules versus Nexus criteria? Nexus, with extra modification. Favorite sedation agent is? Propofol. Normal saline or ringer lactate? Normal saline. What is the best thing an emergency physician can do to manage in a crisis? Remember that you're trotting on known territory. What is your greatest hope for the emergency medicine in the next 10 years? That young people will embrace more leadership so that we can advocate for our specialty. Why emergency medicine is unique? We're the only doctors who can do everything. What is your work and life balance secret? That there is no balance it's more a discussion of the preferred imbalance on any particular day. How would you react to a trainee who mispronounces your name? With sympathy. I hate when I mispronounce someone's name. The first emergency medicine book you ever own is? The Pocket Tintinale. Favorite snack during a shift is? Coffee. <laughs> the toughest period in your career is? My International Emergency Medicine Fellowship. In a plane, window, or aisle? Aisle. What is the app you can't live without? My calendar. What is your favorite board game? Scrabble. Are you a pool or beach person? Neither. I like the mountains. What is the one thing you wish you did better when you were in training? More procedures. How many emails are waiting in your email box right now? 49. What advice would you give to someone who's interested in going into emergency medicine? Do it. It's a great specialty. Okay. Gosh, anything I want to say to yeah. medical students and residents? Yeah. The advice I would give to medical students is choose the medical specialty that really makes you happy. So when you're doing your rotations, find something that you're really comfortable in, that fits like a glove, and do that. Don't just choose because of lifestyle or what you think your parents want you to do.
in your early career, you want to get the best possible clinical emergency medicine training you can. But that will only entertain you and sustain you for so long. If you really want to take emergency medicine to the next level, you need to get trained in leadership and take an active part in moving our profession forward. That was fun. Thank you very much. Spirit animal. I don't know. What's yours? <laughs>